Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here, and as you already know, today is May 2nd, 2015. That's right, because I just turned 30 this year. And wow, what a birthday. Because I actually look more 25 than 30. But, you know, didn't matter to me, because I think I look you know, as young as I could be. And also, I'm wearing my The Avengers Age of Ultron t-shirt that I got as a gift from my mother. So I thought that was cool, because I just saw it last night at uh, City Walk, Universal City Walk in Universal City, California. Yeah, I had a good time seeing the movie, but at the same time, <sighs> oh boy. Long story short, well, maybe even longer, I had a terrible movie theater experience when I went to go see it. And that's what I'm going to mention today. I didn't want to really mention this on my birthday, but I might as well because that's what happened last night when I went to go see The Avengers Age of Ultron at the AMC City Walk 19. Well, what happened was, after we went with my family to go eat at Sizzler, you know, just to celebrate my birthday, you know, things were going great at that point, we ended up trying to figure out where we're going to go see the film. You know, I was always thinking about seeing it at the United Artists in, in La Quiana Fruitbridge. Another suggestion was to go see it at the, the theater in Van Nuys, yeah, Regency Theaters, which is the the plan 16 well all of a sudden I believe my brother or possibly yeah I think it was my brother or anybody else wanted to go see the movie at AMC at first we were going to go see it at Burbank yeah because that was the theater we sometimes go to and yeah, just so we can end up using the tickets over there but then suddenly yeah because we were going to go on a matinee to go see it earlier so we figured you know things would be perfect for us but then we wound up um, going through a lot of trouble we end up going straight to to Universal City Walk just to go get the tickets we were already trying to find some parking you know just to just to see you know where to park so we have you know more space for everybody. And of course we end up going to the Curious George parking structure. We end up paying ten dollars yeah, for the mission. Just to see the movie. Well anyway, once we finally got in, you know, there was almost a huge line, but not that much. It was it was sort of little. Well therefore we were trying to look for the, the latest showing. Um, at first we were going to take the, the 5.30 or 6 o'clock showing. We we're trying to figure it out if, if this was going to be the regular time, you know, the regular showing, or if it's going to be either the IMAX 3D or the 3D version. They are playing the film you know, at separate feeders. Well, what happened was uh, we ended up meeting this lady who was trying to uh, give us you know some information here trying to find out uh, um, if we actually have uh, all the seating available unfortunately because that same lady was actually talking to one of my cousins saying that there was like over 300 seats available but then by the moment it was like five or ten minutes later that same person actually lied to them and us <laughs> saying that it's not available anymore Seem like the whole seats are taken now and then after that we were trying to figure it out if uh, the the other showing might be you know what it is you know it would be either the regular or the 3d well we found out that the, the six o'clock showing was the 3d version oh, it was sold out so then we were trying to get to the later showing which was at 7 30 
which of course was also 3D. And that was the only one that's available. Of course, we didn't want to see the 3D version. We wanted to see the regular showing. So of course it turns out the last showing was at 9 o'clock. And it turns out that the 9 o'clock showing was only the front row seating, which is not enough because the entire family you know, wanted to come in to see the movie too. Because we bought the entire family. So that, that's not going to be enough. And plus I didn't want to see it up close. That's why I had that same problem last time when I saw the first movie. And I saw it in 3D. Yeah. We end up having a huge fight and with the lady. And then suddenly, yeah, she refuses to uh, fix this problem. And she, she didn't do anything about it. I mean, she was very rude to us. Because not only uh, our cousin, my mother, and of course my sister too, and, and my cousin's boyfriend were there. Yeah, my aunt finally came in because he heard about what happened. And then, and then of course my brother showed up too with his wife. Yeah, because he actually forgot to uh, bring in the ticket that, that he paid at, for the parking. So that way they'll show it to them. So the whole thing was a huge mess. So we end up going straight to the guest services just to explain what was going on on how they're not doing this this whole situation so we're trying to see if maybe they could fix this oh and boy it, it was like it was like a huge migraine all the way I was just saying oh come on I mean what when are they gonna get their acts together and say it if they got the uh, the perfect sh timing for the for the next show and see if maybe this will work out and well they they still were, were giving us more problems because by the time you know we're trying to figure out what show we're going to take once again we wound up ending up with the 3d version yep and that one costs even more because since we had the the gold tickets that we get for free because at least it'd be easier this way if, if it was the regular showing we had to end up paying four dollars each for for every ticket, which I think it sucks. Cause you know that's how that's how much it costs for three D movies. Yeah, the surcharge. They usually cost four dollars. Sometimes three dollars even. So that's bullshit. So we're trying to figure out the better solution behind all this is actually uh, see if maybe they can give us a forty dollar gift card to, to cover this up. And that's what they did. So then by that point they end up giving us two coupons each for small popcorn and small drinks so oh, after all this time we finally got uh, the tickets with, with the coupons so everything just turned out okay and it was like a huge conflict that man I wanted to calm myself down after what happened because we ended up going to the candy store and all these other places I didn't really want to get anything right now I thought about it but Things were so expensive that I didn't know what else to do. And, and we were running out of time, too. Because when we finally went to the 730 showing of the Avengers Age of Ultron, things were going so well, as it seems, because I was happy. But yet I was, I was I was just hoping that the 3D version won't be so bad. Well, everything was going great so far. But then that is until right in the middle of the movie. And I know I'm not going to mention it, but right in the middle of the film, that's when suddenly it started to freeze. Like they paused it, that one particular scene, and then suddenly it got shut off. Just like that. The lights went on, the audience were groaning, and I ended up yelling, Oh, come on now! And then the same employees, you know, where we actually complained about all this stuff actually showed up and they're actually interfering saying that there, there was a technical difficulties we're, we're gonna actually restore all this back again but we just gotta go outside to figure out what's going on so then we're gonna end up waiting for a while they'll show up the tickets until we go back inside yeah of course I had to go to the restroom too so I figure if we go back inside you now things will be okay well I end up missing over 10 minutes because I had to go to a restroom real bad <laughs> and I was like frustrated completely unbelievable and it, it had and, and I said to myself I'm 
I'm not going to this feeder again. After what I that experience that happened, I'm not dealing with this. Well, at the end of the movie, I did finally get a free pass. Which is cool because I'm going to use that, but I'm not going to use it at City Walk. I'm going to be using this at Burbank for another movie. Or who knows, maybe I'll see the Avengers again with this ticket. Boy. I know everybody had experience like this, and trust me, we've been there. I know there are a lot of people that started talking between the movie and really manner. Other times, you know, they end up, you know, doing some stupid crap like, you know, throwing all the food and all this other stupid shit, or even, of course, you know, babble on their cell phones, you know, or even they started filming, even crying babies too. I mean, it, it could really affect your feeder viewing once you see a movie that you really wanted to, to watch. Whenever it's a good movie or a bad movie, you know experiences like this can always happen to you. Well, and I'll tell you one thing, I had plenty of bad experience when I ended up going to see a movie too. And I'll tell you one experience I had uh, one time, you know, before this had happened. I actually once got kicked out during the screening of, you know, during the showing of the movie Alien vs. Predator. And that was with my brother. I don't know what, I don't know how on earth did this happen, but I was actually sitting in that particular row where I was sitting with my brother, but suddenly someone had took my seat. Yeah, I guess my brother should have paid attention when this happened. Because you know I was going to come back. I had to go to a restroom. And, so, and and if that wasn't bad enough, suddenly, you know, the, the feeder employee actually came over. He was telling them something was going wrong. Like, like I might have stolen something or something. I don't know what it was. But I think what happened was it was... I think my brother somehow complained about this and... And then my mother and, and my sister showed up to see what was going on. And I was like, what happened? Unbelievable. And, and by, the, by the time this happened, I, I didn't even get to see the last half. And we, we ended up leaving so soon because of that experience. And it, it's just... I just hate it when shit like this happens. You know... Especially when I'm seeing a good movie like The Avengers Age of Ultron. I wish I'd never had experiences like this again. But no matter what happens, <laughs> it's going to keep going on. As far as this concern, I hope I get to see this movie again. And not worry about this experience. Because this is one thing I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to tolerate with it. And yes, I'm going to review this film later on, but for now I'm just going to keep it this way. So I'm just explaining to for those out there who had, you know, plenty of bad movie theater experiences. This is indeed the biggest one of all. Yeah. So anyway, that's my rant. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.